if you're struggling to get the best prompt for your AI image, you might want to check out this video because I struggle myself, right? When I have to create some AI images, I'm just standing in front of the screen and thinking about how to create the best prompt in order to get the best results, right? And this process takes a while, okay? But recently, I came across a really simple trick that will basically give you the best prompt in order to get the best results. And this trick, it's all about using ChatGPT, right? Now, obviously, when you want to create that image, that AI image, chances are there are a ton of similar images on the internet, right? And this process is really simple, right? And also absolutely free. So think about the image that you want to create and go ahead on Google and search for that specific image, right? Now, I have downloaded some images from the internet and as you can see, I have this uh, cat here. It's an abstract uh, style, I think. So basically what I will do with ChatGPT, I'm going to say what's in the image below. Describe it as a prompt for an AI image generator. And from here, I'm going to upload that image that I have downloaded to my computer, right? And once it's uploaded, I'm going to go ahead and click on enter. And now what ChatGPT is going to do, okay, so we have an error here and uh, is the file format and we need PNG or JPEG. Now let me quickly modify this file. And if this problem happens to you and if you are on a Mac, just open it, click on file here, then go ahead and export, click on export and choose the PNG format, right? And just name it, I will say one, two, three, click on save. And there we go, we have another one. Now, I will go back again to ChatGPT, paste that prompt again, upload the image from my computer, which is one, two, three, click on open and click on enter. And again, ChatGPT is going to go ahead and analyze all the details that's in this picture, right? In this image. And as you can see, it's going to give you the description about what's in the image and also the prompt, right? So if I copy this prompt and paste it in uh, an AI image generator, I use Leonardo AI and paste that prompt in here. I will click on generate. Let's see the final result. And there we go. Now, this is really cool, but it's not the same, is it? Now, that's because I have under the style here, as you can see, we have anime, okay? But if I change this uh, model here, let's go with lifelike vision, like so, and the style dynamic. I'm going to go ahead and click on generate again. Now, as the size i'm going to leave it like that like uh, 9 by 16 right but obviously you can change it in here if you are using leonardo and there we go this is the final result and i have four variations in here and i think this one looks absolutely stunning right and it's pretty close with the image that we have downloaded from the internet right now obviously with this prompt as you can see we have the main prompt right but for example, the eyes, you can change the eyes. You can just type it in here. The eyes are red, right? And if you click on generate, I'm pretty sure that will make the eyes red. And we have the final result, but these are not quite red. Basically some orange. But anyway, I think this is a glitch, maybe inside of Leonardo AI. But the idea, guys, is this is how I come up with the best prompts in order to get the best results, right? And again, I'm pretty sure that what you want to create, it's already on, on the internet, it's already on Google, or maybe in a video, and all you have to do is just uh, take a screenshot from that video, upload it in ChatGPT, and as you can see, we have the prompt along with the description. Now, this is the prompt, right? But as you can see, we have a description by ChatGPT. Now, if I copy this and paste it in uh, Leonardo, like so, and click on generate with no editing, just the simple description that ChatGPT gave me, 
let's see the final result. And as you can see, pretty similar with what we have created up until now, right? So that's pretty, pretty cool. Now you can go ahead and as you can see, we also have some uh, software, right? On Google, basically just go ahead and type in image to prompt. And as you can see, we have a ton of uh, software that will help you get the best prompt, right? But these are paid tools. Uh, I don't really use them, right? Because uh, why should I use them if I use ChatGPT? Now, obviously, I don't use these uh, trick every single day and create like 20 images, AI images every single day. But every time I want to create an AI image, I use ChatGPT. And for those of you guys that are creating these AI images, like 20, 30, 40 images in a day, you might want to get a paid software or use the paid version of ChatGPT. Now, I'm not quite sure on ChatGPT how many times you can do this trick. Because as I said, I don't use this every single day, but uh, yeah, it's up to you. And this is how I use it. And this is a really cool trick that I use guys to create these prompts in order to get the best AI images. So I'm going to use this cococlip.ai, the image to prompt generator. So let's add another image in here and I will click on generate prompt and see what this software will give us. And as you can see, the image is a digital illustration of a young girl. So I'm just going to copy this prompt like so. Go back in DaVinci. And as you saw, we have uh, an anime style. So I'm going to choose the model here, which is anime like so. And I'm going to paste that prompt in here. Click on generate and let's see what this gives us. And I will also open this image so we can see and compare it right and there we go so we have a pretty similar image we have a pretty similar image guys right so this is how you basically get the best prompt for your ai images guys and uh, yeah i will end this video here because this was a quick video showing you how i generate these prompts and if you have any questions make sure to ask them below and i will catch up in my next video until then stay safe